Okay, let's have the finale. Yeah, so, like we saw last time, slugs and salt don't go together. So that little scheme didn't work either. Maybe this one will. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Is that a torpedo? Yep. If that doesn't get you into some kind of legal trouble, I don't know what will. Okay, bullets. God power. As I'm not letting my patience run out a third time. Is it just the one entryway? Looks like it. They don't, huh? Oh, hell. Waiting here wouldn't be so bad if not for the rocks. Oh, there. I'm not done up here yet. I think we get how the elevator game is supposed to look here. This time the crystals are spheres. And by the way, there's only one of them in the entire level. Now the whole thing really is one big bonus if you deviate from the top. The only reason you might would be to go for the exit. So I'm going to spare everybody the elevator shenanigans and just do this and yeah falling rocks we kind of figured that out Despite the absolute absence of crystals, well, there's still plenty of money to be gotten here. One sec. Also, it is possible to get hit by one of those falling rocks as you're on your way out. That would have been damage. As I was walking out with nothing I could have done about it. So that's another reason I'm using God Mode is to prevent that kind of screw from happening. I don't like screws. More crystals this time. Fortunately, he's slow, so it's pretty easy to make him chase his tail that way. And here's our token pipeline level for this episode.
Watch how many pixels you walk into that guy. Must be a reason for this. What the hell? Let's find out. Okay, here's the reason for the red shroom. See all these spikes? The only way out is through, no matter how you get up. Low gravity, so there's some kind of kickback. Moderate kickback. Funny, we saw heavy kickback and light kickback in episode one. Two and three, we've only seen moderate.
best way to win a fight is a nice safe perch. Wedge the corpse under a box. Little tips and tricks like that, you know. And in low gravity, fight with your back against the wall. Let's take the expedited way out. You can see and figure out the map as you go, how the right way to get out is. I'm not going to sit here and waste time doing it. Can't imagine too many people, if anybody even watches this, would want to see that kind of tedium twice. to get under that. A $6,800 bonus turned into 11.8 with that one. Graph pill is. And we need the elevator to get there. Here we go. Make sure you drop all the spikes before you grab that pill. Because if you don't, you're going to end up regretting it. again in the shortest faucet drip we've had yet. Unless you'd rather see me jumping and using the elevator and all that fancy stuff.
Kickback this time is somewhere between low and moderate. going to need the stop sign for anything there. Don't fall down that one. You're pretty much doomed if you land here, unless the elevator happens to save you. Why do we need the stop sign? What's it get us? Oh, that's good. So now everything is stopped and <clears throat> we have no way of killing anything. Time the shot. Damn. Uh, oh well. Oh, I missed a crystal somewhere? Oh, up there. Shit. That would have been terrible. Sorry, guys. gets us up there. So there are no bricks in the center to be hit. So I'm going to have to go down before I can get up.
I got psyched out a few times there. Oop. If you hadn't unlocked those doors, you would have been in a little trouble. I do need to get that switch. Screw this up, any part of it. And getting back is going to be tough. Unless you got the last, or unless that's the last crystal. Also. Unless I'm missing something here, these need to be your last two um, caves. Because if they're not, you're not getting back up there. Heed that one well, folks. If you take nothing else away from this. This is going to be one big jumping puzzle, huh? I'm kind of surprised he hasn't shot more frequently than that. Yeah, there's a lot of extra falling involved in this one because of the nature of the puzzle. got your jump shot fairly well mastered. You can take him out safely.
Dump the way across one more time. And out you go. Get out of Dodge quick before he has a chance. Throw kill there. Get yourself nice and druggy for the next bounce. If you put two G pills on top of each other, then your natural state, at least for that level, will become reverse gravity. Basically, that entire sequence can be properly explained by the G-Pill. Now, you see all those chests down there, all between those green shrooms. You see what you have to do in order to get them and still live. coming towards you, that's all you can do. There are no power-ups nearby to help you this time. So you're going to have to time and strategize very carefully in order to live through this one. There's no extra bonus for you, but that's a nice skill test if you're naturally able to spell bonus out with that pill still intact. And remember, that's 15 seconds to get up and out of the first shaft, drop down the second, and make the ascent back up with the eggs. Obviously, you'll need to place your falls in between the mushrooms. Were there chests up here? Don't believe there were. No. Okay. 
Oh yeah, and if you take that second drop with the switch still on, obviously your history. I'd like to place Invincibles in front of you this episode. Or more accurately, place you in front of Invincibles. The best thing you can do is catch him under that low clearance ceiling. You won't lose any diamonds for it, that's the good news. There's a blood toll attached to that diamond. Best to land at the top and drop your way down. We've seen situations like that before. You can go back and throw a pill or you can take this forward. The wisest thing to do would probably be to just take it forward. You can take Big Green out in one without using any bullets. But why trouble yourself? He can't beat you from the high perch. Or while you're on the high perch. Maneuver your way back down. The one. The one. The one. 
Wait for the elevator to get your way up. And out you go. Look at all these warp pipe looking things. Many life forms have perished over the course of this series. Here's the big question. Is the switch down here? Well, if you make that drop, obviously you're doing it on the hope that it is down there. There's a the red lever. Okay, so the switch is not down here. Do not come down this side unless you've activated that elevator. And as it happens, the red door is a bonus anyway, so... Again, you don't have to go back for this. Rather pathetically low chest total that time. Too bad. Now on the old DOS interface, there would be a red border surrounding this game that turns green when you get your hands on the final crystal. You don't have that particular luxury this time. Here's a twist. A reverse gravity level where your gravity needs to be normalized for some of it. Again, as with any other map, make sure you're getting your proper situational analysis in. Know where you need those pills and how best to use them. Obviously, you want to wait it out.
Again, careful about killing. Over top of crystals. The good thing about the hammer is it spends more time down than it does up. Which in reverse gravity is the best situation you can hope for. What have I missed here? Do we know where the key is? the key, but where? Some corner somewhere, I guess. Did they forget to put a key in this level? Where they got it really nicely hidden. Is it behind a box? I think they forgot to place the key. Well, damn. How about that? That's a blood hole. The timing against these faucets needs to be crisp. Keep 
He wasn't forgotten this time. strategically placed drops here. You'll certainly want to time yourself well against that gun. And are around for the chests. Take five crystals to get us over a million and a half with the bonus. And we've got that and a little bit more. In fact, the bare minimum more for three chests. There's got to be a red shroom or a peep out somewhere. Trip the box on the way down. Unfortunate time a message comes in turned into a lucky bonus. The arc jump is makeable. Just not advisable if you can find another way. Again, watch what you, uh, watch where you make your puddle kills, your bouncing tubes and your snakes. Because killing him where I did is bad news if you're trying to make a jump to the red door. fun spree killing if you so choose time your jumps well you can plow them all down Only 
only a couple left. Whoop. That was almost bad. Be careful about the fact that he's right on top of the air generator. I actually don't know whether it would hit the bad guy or the generator. I guess would be the bad guy because we killed him, didn't we? Since you have the key, you may as well take the quick run back. Could we break two million, I wonder? First and foremost, free the elevator. You're going to need it. Don't come down here without flipping a particular switch. Namely this one right here. Stay to the far right of that one. Place the stop sign so you can catch the elevator immediately. Otherwise you will be ravaged by the wall monsters. You need some other power up to get over here. I get the feeling I took this in the wrong order. Should I have gone up? No, I couldn't have gone up. What did I miss? 
Oh, the horizontal elevator. Okay. I think proper timing would have been what I need. For the upper right. There's a key here somewhere, right? a key. I have a hard time believing they forgot it twice. But they just may have. Damn, that's depressing. Because that could be $25,000 up there. We'll just have to settle for the ending. Well over a thousand crystals, but I don't think that's going to amount to enough. Not to two million at least. I don't see why he has to go into business. Why didn't he just like, why didn't he just cash out with the crystals he's got? Amazing. Yeah, it's a true commentary on why you read the fine print. Immediate supernova. And that's a close-up of the Millennium Kiwi. His puny little ship that amounts to nothing but a... really an escape pod. <laughs> Well, we tried three times, we failed three times. But then... You see how much money that is for that small amount of food? This is the future, folks, and we are heading toward it fast. It's 
So the supernova is a backdrop. That's something in it. Oh, Star Trek. Well, he did okay after all. And that is Crystal Caves. There's one more series in the same vein I'm going to do. I may do it tonight. I may not. We'll see. But for now, have an alpha night. Oh. <laughs>